Okay, let's go ahead and get back into the videos. So first I'm going to start with some new stuff before I go to the old stuff that I recorded like two weeks ago. So I need some help. So I left off of video two or ten, I don't know, ago about the intake manifold situation for the OBS Blazer. So throttle body intake manifold right here. And this is a regular traditional carbureted intake manifold. So my issue is, of course, is these bolts in the center right here. Now, I want to run throttle body injected because I still want this thing to be fuel injected. Now, of course, the bolts are the issues. Now, I've been doing a little bit of research. So, you know, Elderbrock makes an intake manifold right there, which is bolts just like this one with all the bolts at the right angle, but it is throttle body injected. It has EGR valve, all this stuff. Basically, it's the Elderbrock version of this. But the thing is, it's basically $500. Now, I also found right here through Amazon, which you can get this through any place, is an adapter that goes on top of this then it has the bolt holes for this so for four what was it like 43 dollars which you can find them around there they have that kit that just bolts onto here but here's my issue egr non-egr okay so be it um water jet right here on the throttle body injected which isn't that big of a deal because they're blocked off on here so I'd have to switch from this one here to up here then this one is an um I think this is for the brakes where you get the brake pressure you know vacuum I could switch that to here so I still just don't know then I was also looking and I thought about the other motor You know because it bolts this one will bolt to that motor out there with the, the corner bolts well the thing is is you go to a vortex so this is a vortex block right here now if you notice there's no center bolt holes it's only held down by the four corners no center bolt holes so do you think I could use the throttle body injected manifold because you don't need the center bolt holes evidently I mean this one doesn't use them so could I put the throttle body injected manifold on there and not run the center bolt holes I don't know what do you think I think it'd be possible Cause I'd much, like I said, I would much rather run this because the truck is set up already. All the electronics, all the hoses, everything, it's set up for this. And I think it would be a lot easier than buying the adapter and having to redo a lot of things to get this. I don't know. I'm thinking about trying this. I'm thinking about trying that. What do you think? Putting this in and just not running these bolt holes. What's the worst that can happen? It leaks and then I gotta start over? I don't know. Alright, well, let's go ahead. We're gonna pick it up in the video of where I left off two weeks ago. So let's go ahead and skip to that little section and I guess that'll probably be the end of the video so let's go ahead and skip to that section how's it going everybody so I don't know exactly what all I'm gonna get into this video but first thing we're gonna be doing is I am going to be I've already cleaned these these wheels and all for the Honda now I use I always go to the dollar store so this is a Multi-purpose cleaner from the dollar store. It is just, it's a multi-purpose cleaner and degreaser. And of course it's like 
cherry blossom smell, which isn't that big of a deal, but it's a really good cleaner. I always, for some reason, just tend to go to the dollar store for a lot of stuff because, which I've said before, a lot of their stuff is really good for a dollar. Now, we're going to, and I mean like, uh, they're even clean in the back. I, you know, detail the crap out of these things. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be using the Chemical Guys Hydro Charge. It's a ceramic spray coating. And I'm going to be going over, hopefully this works. Come on. Is it on? I think I might need a new spray bottle. Yep, my spray bottle's messed up. All right, hold on. Okay, let's try that again. So, that is one of the issues with this stuff is I've always had an issue with the the ceramic coating that's in here. It gets inside the spray nozzle and it really just plays havoc on it. So, it just is what it is. All right. Let's spray. There we go. Now, every, they say do it, you know, they always, you know, if you read the instructions on their container, they say, spray it on a rag, wipe it off. I've always just spray it on and then basically kind of wipe it all around. Always wear gloves too, because this stuff is it's a little just nasty in my opinion opinion. It'll leave your hands a little nasty. So, And I'm doing all the way. So front, back, inside, the works. Now, Doing a ceramic spray on these like this will help with keeping them clean, all that kind of stuff. All right. Now you let that set for a while, then just take a nice clean towel and wipe it all off. So I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes and then we'll wipe it off and basically all of these all of my wheels will be coated and I mean you can see it's kind of hard to see in camera but it's super shiny and this stuff will help repel water dirt grime everything so get on these got more to go so let me just go ahead knock all these out because this is going to take like an hour and then we'll go from there okay so that section's over got two parts of the video done now next video i guess we're going to go ahead and put these on because like i said i think i said got brand new lug nuts right there for it wheels are ready to go so let's go ahead next video we'll be getting these on and then we're going to go ahead and work on cleaning the OBS blazer back up because from where I put the intake manifold on and got sealant, all that kind of stuff. So we need to get all that clean back off. So let's go ahead and take us a break. Still not trying to rush into videos. 
might take a break and get started on that. If not, we'll pick another video up tomorrow. Because like I said, got to ease into all this. So, next video, putting these wheels on and cleaning up the blazer. Catch you then.